The first stop Mr. Trump will make this morning will be at the historic St. John's Episcopal Church for a prayer service. Every American president has attended at least one service there since the church opened in 1816. You can probably hear the music yes, in the background. They are getting ready for a concert later that's today. That's not what they're going to hear at church. Yeah, that, that is not what they're going to hear at church today. You're right, Charlie. Back to the church story. It has earned the nickname the Church of the Presidents. Margaret Brennan is outside St. John's. Margaret. Good morning. This is why I love live TV. Anything can happen. Good morning to you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, good morning to you. President-elect Trump is expected to pull up here in front of St. John's Church in just over an hour. He and the incoming First Lady, along with the Vice President-elect and his wife, will go inside for an hour-long service. It's an Inauguration Day tradition. Every president since James Madison has come to pray at this Episcopal Church on special occasions, regardless of their own own personal religious affiliation. Now, Mr. Trump is Presbyterian, so the church leadership worked with the inaugural committee to craft a service to suit his family. Uh, we do know Mr. Trump will be front and center in that front pew uh, to listen to Baptist preacher Reverend Robert Jeffress. He will be delivering the service, uh, the sermon, I should say. He campaigned for Trump and he leads a mega church in Dallas. He has come under fire himself for some controversial remarks he's made about about Catholics, about gays, about Mormons and Muslims. But Charlie, today, his sermon will be entitled, When God Chooses a Leader. Margaret, thanks.